complex 
you know, he, he has a lot of issues, he has a very, very dark side. Was this a deliberate move to, to kind of test yourself and move into, into more varied water? <laughs> I mean, not really. I just kind of tried to follow this up. Oh. Is, is that a button? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't think I tried to uh, move away from anything in particular. I mean, Bellamy, I, 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 um, I read about uh, after the first Twilight and liked it then. <laughs> And I thought it was kind of funny. It's the only job I've ever done where I was thinking it's kind of interesting with the audience perception, like, you know, these people. Or maybe it was after the second one, like, where, um, uh, you know, you're playing one character which is supposed to be, like, you know, the ideal boyfriend or whatever, and then you play some guy who's literally just preying on, on uh, uh, you know, bastardizing people loving him. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, that I ended up doing way afterwards when I kind of felt differently about myself. I'd done it two more Twilight Girls by that point. But uh, this, I just found, um, uh, this seemed really, really, really new. It wasn't just good, it was uh, something uh, which I don't think I'd seen before. And also, I mean, not just in the writing, but in some of the subject matter, like, I don't think you're going to see it. A six minute long prostate exam scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I have a collection of those scenes from other movies. I'll show them to you later. And I mean, can I, can I also ask because I said, I mean, for, for me, having David Cronenberg here was such a big thing. Was he a director whose work you sought out, that you, that you knew? Was he somebody that you wanted to work with, or was it something that the project came in when you discovered some of the other films that you made? Um, David's an adjective. <laughs> you don't really think about and being able to work with adjectives. Like it's kind of I it never even came into my uh, uh, my head at all. I mean, and the way it, it, it kind of it came completely out of the blue, and I didn't. Un it took me a while to really process it. And still, and you know, the, seeing the movie, I, I really I like the movie, and there's something so sort of foreign about it. And then, the, and then he gets into can and all this stuff. I'm just like, it's it's so it's so bizarre. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I hadn't sort I hadn't sort it out at all. I was trying. I was thinking about I was uh, oversaturated at the time when I got offered it, and I wanted to do small parts and uh, ensemble pieces. And then this one is almost my character is like obnoxiously present. Actually, every scene. Yeah, and like incessantly speaking. <laughs> and also even the way David shot it was like the camera like eight inches away from my face and stuff. Um, like it was not what I thought I was going to end up doing. But um, you know, it's also a, it was a very hard thing to say no to. And now, how did you find your character? Because this is the second time I've seen the film, and you, you do kind of realise the complexity. It seems to me to have a kind of revulsion with himself and with the world he's kind of living in. He seems to be desperately unhappy uh, at almost what he's become. And his acts become more and more self-destructive as the film continues. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily know if he's unhappy. Uh, I think it's... Um, he's just incredibly... I mean, I mean, I think if the film has any kind of comment, this is why I always feel really comfortable with saying, like, oh, the film means this and it means that, when I'm by myself, when I say this and do. And there's so kind of the absurdity of yeah. the world. I mean, that's what I, when I first saw, when I first read it, it read as an absurd comedy. And then people take it, and you know, then when we were in Canada, like, hardly anyone's laughing at it. And they were like, oh, it was funny. Um, <laughs> People they, were, they were French. It's not so much about um, trying to destroy yourself. I think it's he, he thinks um, you know you look at everything. If the world doesn't make sense at all, then it has to start again. And you see it again and again and again. I mean, it's a quite a sort of time of story. Is that you know you look at things about the financial crisis and stuff, which people say it's. A, about that, which we weren't thinking about, but it, it, I mean, that to me, you don't, you need to be 
prophetic uh, to predict that something that makes absolutely no sense is going to completely fall apart. I mean, it's, yeah. I don't think he's deliberately. Uh, he's just he suddenly sees it for the first time, and uh, and, well, and, it, and once you once you see something, once you, if you really see the world, then it, it all crumbles. I mean, uh, David mentioned Paul Giamatti, who, who's fantastic, but the whole cast, I mean, everybody is very good. How did it feel to be in amongst those? Because, you know, the, 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 if you forgive veteran actors, you know, Judith options, and Morgan is great. You know, what was it like acting alongside them, and how much did you allow yourself to, to, to kind of learn from their experience? I just spent the whole movie in like perpetual terror. Like, I mean, it wasn't like you could spend the first two weeks getting used to the, the movie and the world of it, because there'd be a new person every every few days. Um, but having uh, being able to at least have the limo remain the same, it was kind of because it was a weird environment to work in. Because there's no there's no one even behind the camera. I mean, that you can see and normally. Well, how I try to act before you try and connect to the guy whose eyes in the camera, not really, not so much the camera. And in this, you you start having a relationship with the camera, like an inanimate object, and like, it's just really odd. And I think a lot of the actors who came in, that like, kind of really, it's, it's not a particularly nice feeling to begin with. So these big actors who come in, and I was like far more comfortable with the environment than they were at the beginning, especially people like Julia and stuff. Which was, uh, was great for me because I would have been shitting myself. <laughs> was it more comfortable to do the scenes outside of the car? I mean, when David was saying about some of the scenes he left out, I know Don, Don DeLillo is a very big fan of the film, I understand it. But there are scenes that take place outside of the living room, the barbershop, in the restaurants, the scene with Matthew Amari because the pastry assassin was great. You know, did they provide a kind of relief for you once you were able to get outside? Of the I mean, sort of. Uh... I know this. Is this still on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. Uh, there's a. I walk. Uh, the, when I got out, my walk changed. But it was a walk which kind of. It's not my walk. Uh, it's my, yes, it's weird. And there's a scene when I was walking up to, to Benno's apartment. I just noticed it the other day. I was like, what? Weird. And, uh, Actually, when you when you go to attack uh, the the, the uh, photographers That's after the pastry sauce, and you have a walk I've never seen on screen. <laughs> <laughs> very weird, like a centipede. I don't know. <laughs> I loved it. I mean, it was great. And it was spontaneous, you know. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah. I think there's something about being an alien. I mean, you kind of you, you, I was so comfortable. I hate that. Those are things. Uh, uh, I read this thing about James Gandolfini, like always wants to just, well, no matter what's happening in a scene, I'll figure out some way to sit down. <laughs> Probably for different reasons than why I want to do it. I feel like this, this, it, does, it is a great thing to sit down. If you figure out some way to sit down and see, it's so much easier. Um, yeah, and then if you do it for ages, when you stand up, you're like, what are you doing? Figure out, I want to sit on the floor. <laughs> 